The eighth annual Operation Safe Return brought thousands of people to the American Bank Center today, and every year vendors offer kids what they need to have a great school year. Our Madeline Dard joins us about the popular event. Maddie. Yeah, Michelle, such a great event for our community, and there was even a bluebell truck with some popsicles and plenty of exhibits to see. So here's a look back at this year's Operation Safe Return. As a student, few things are better than brand new school supplies. That's what Operation Safe Return provides, as well as a fun experience for everyone who's involved. I went in the cop car over there and looked inside and it had like guns and stuff. CCPD and local first responders giving kids a closer look at their jobs while handing out backpacks with a plethora of items. All kinds of community services are coming together and make sure our kids in uh, Nueces County and surrounding counties make them ready for school. Officer Aaron Stewart says attendance has grown every year. This time their goal was 3,000 students. And that's not including the, the children and uh, teenagers that come for physicals and immunizations that are ready for school. Various vendors providing information to parents as well. We're talking education and awareness. We're trying to uh, let people know that there are resources out for asthma education. At another booth is Roy Stock, an advocate for people with disabilities. Well, people are always surprised because they don't. A lot of people don't realize these things are going on. Uh, the community here is, is very active toward helping people overcome various different issues. Like everyone else, Stock says the eighth annual Operation Safe Return was a huge success. We had over 500 packages, and it was all gone within the first uh, the first two hours. Yeah, a ton of fun to be had there and a happy almost back to school for all the kiddos who attended.